So I've mentioned the new upgraded Collab 3 screens that have come out on a couple new devices in the last month. The Kindle Colorsoft being one and the Onyx Books Note Air 4C being another. I've also mentioned that I don't know the specifics of these displays. What are the upgrades? What are the actual stats? Um, I did a little bit of digging and I think I found out a couple things that I wanted to share with you guys today. All right, let's jump right into it. How's it going everyone? Roger here, Rants About Tech. If you're new here, welcome. Consider hitting the subscribe button for me and uh, to the crew, to the math teachers, the TFT engineers, to the non-traditional students, everybody just go ahead and hit that like button. So this improved Cloud 3 technology consists of two main parts, the comfort gaze and the amorphous oxide backplane. So the comfort gaze is essentially a new front light technology made by the E-Ink Corporation to reduce the amount of blue light emission and enhance reading comfort. It was mentioned in the Onyx Fall event press release and was also made mention of in Verge's Kindle refresh article. It was launched in April of 22 alongside the Gallery 3 technology and it's been used in the Kindle Colorsoft, the Pocketbook, Color Note, and now the Note Air 4C, just to mention a few. It's brighter overall, which helps color vibrance, and it's more efficient. And though this front light technology doesn't make the colors in these devices any better, it does boost the overall brightness of the displays, which makes the colors more vibrant. And though this technology makes the front lights brighter, it also makes them more efficient, allowing you to run the front lights for longer, using less battery, and also allowing you to use less artificial light when you do need to use the front light at all. So the front light is just one component in this improved Collateral 3 display. The other component is the amorphous oxide backplane. Let's talk about that now. So the amorphous oxide backplane was developed in the 1960s and wasn't commercially viable until the 2010s. So what is the backplane? The backplane is the part of the display that houses all the circuitry. The backplane contains circuitry that controls the electrical field needed to move ink particles. The material used in backplanes before amorphous oxide was called amorphous silicone. And the advantages of amorphous oxide over amorphous silicone are materials like indium gallium zinc oxide, IGZO for short, which are in these new backplanes, carry these benefits. Higher electron mobility, which makes frame rates faster. Smaller, more capable transistors can be made, which brings the overall size down. Then we have lower power consumption. As current battery tech plateaus, this tech extends the battery life of current devices. So devices like the Note Air 4C, though it has the same battery size as its predecessor, the Note Air 3C, the former should have better battery life in the long run. So brighter colors are also touted as a benefit of this technology, even though it doesn't directly affect colors. So brighter colors have also been touted as a benefit of this technology, and I'm thinking that may be why Remarkable jumped into the game with the Gallery 3 tech because this technology is also in the back planes of Gallery 3 technology as well as Collider 3 technology. So both technologies benefit from these new back planes, making things just overall quicker uh, and more precise. So I can see that being a reason why Remarkables decided to jump into the Gallery 3 game when they did. It was probably around the same time that these new back planes were becoming widely available and economically sustainable. So like I said, the backplane doesn't directly control color, but with more precise control over pigment placement and quicker transitions between colors, this contributes to a more vibrant color display. You also get transparent, reflective, and flexible displays that can be made from these materials as well. Could you imagine a transparent e-ink display? I mean, I think they have them, but I want one for myself, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, everyone, that's gonna be it for me. I just wanted to throw that information out there. I know it's been kind of a question. Uh, maybe if it, if it hasn't been questioned for other people, it's definitely been a question for me. And I assume it may have been a question for other people too, which is why I made this video. So I hope it helps someone understand the technology and what's actually going on with this improved display. Um, I still don't have numbers to kind of explain what the improvements actually are. Again, they're probably so nominal it's not worth putting out, but um, but I can dig faster refresh rates. I'll take faster refresh rates no matter what the device, so that's definitely a stat I'd be touting, but it is what it is. All right, everyone, that's going to be it for me. Until next time, take care.